Hello guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to perform SQL queries on Pandas data frame. This is beneficial especially for those who already have skill sets in performing um, queries using SQL. And yes, let's get started. So the first thing that we need is to install the library that we need which is Pandas SQL. And in the official documentation, it's shown that we need to perform the installation using the pip install command. But in my case, this does not work. So I went for the conda um, approach instead. So let's install it with conda. So when you performing the installation, we need to specify with dash dash yes panel SQL. This is important because it helps you get rid of um, the yes or no prompt that you may have uh, when performing the installation. And I already have the library installed on my computer, so I won't go for for this process. And once we have that, the next step is to um, import SQL DF from Panda SQL. And after that, we'll also need um, pandas as pd so import pandas as pd this allows us to create data frames on um, that will be used to perform the experimentation and on that um, matter i created two different data frames the first one is the student data and with the student data we just create a dictionary and from that dictionary we can finally create the pandas data frame, the corresponding pandas data frame using the dot data frame from pandas. And after that, we can see that the data frame is created. And after the student data frame, we also need a second data frame, which is the student assistance um, data. And it goes with the same process, create a dictionary and from that dictionary call the pd that's data frame on the final dictionary and then run and here we have the two data frames that we'll be using to perform the corresponding pandas um, i mean corresponding sql queries so we'll have four main uh, aspects of queries we will have data selection um, data filtering, data aggregation, and data joins. So for data selection, let's say that we want to select um, everything from the student's data frame. So what we do here is to have um, all students, I have created this variable called all students equal C equal DF. Um, in the brackets, we specify the query that we want to perform. As you can see here, we have select star from student's data frame, meaning that we want to select everything from the student's data frame. And running this cell, we have the exact same information that we got from the student's data frame. Here we have a student's data frame. And then the second query that we can perform is to to get um, like let's say that we want to get like select student name and email and limit the result to the first three um, queries and like especially when we have you know such a long queries it's kind of for clean code aspect to specify the query first so i specify the query which is select students email from student df and i limit the result to the first three and from that i create a new variable it called sql df and i give the query and we have the final result here and here we have those two columns that we requested from the query we have students which is a student name the email from student df and we have only the first three um, observations from that result so this is pretty much um you know what we can perform using um 
SQL um, SQL DF like we can perform any type of queries that we want using this library and one thing to notice here is that student DF if we check the type of student DF student DF is a pandas data frame meaning that the result from the query is also a data frame so we can perform any type of you know pandas queries pandas operations that we want to perform yeah that's another query that we would like to perform is let's say select student email gender from student df like we go with the same process get only student email and gender from the students um df so we get all the columns except the email column from the students um, data frame yeah and after that let's go to data filtering so for data filtering this is especially where the where statement is involved imagine that we want to only select female students from the students data frame and running this query we have student gender age email and we can see that um, in the gender column we only have female students so this is the first data filtering query that we perform and after that we can go even further with much more complicated um queries let's say that we want to select um name email degree from teaching assistant data frame where degree like ms everything that is similar to m dot s and meaning that we want to you know get students with master's degree and we run this query and after running this query we can show the results here and that's it we have our master student and we can check that in the teaching assistant data frame here we have a teaching assistant data frame yes this is a teaching assistant data frame so we collected those information teacher email degree and yeah we got only master student we have one two the results contains only two master students and those students are those students are Ibrahim and Fatim yeah we we have the master student and this 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 is yeah like performing SQL queries and imagine that you wanted to perform the exact same query using pandas data frame the goal here is not to perform like comparative analysis on that matter that will be the topic for the next video so first of all we specify the three columns the teacher email and degree so I created the list here that contains those columns teacher email degree and right after that what we do is to um, get teaching assistant that degree that str that starts with ms so here we go here is like since the target column is the degree column and this is similar to the like section here in the query in the sql query and the result here is going to be a boolean or true or false and right after that what we do is to apply the exact same data frame on that which is going to return all the rows where we have only true and after performing this analysis then we can finally collect um, those columns of interest the column we are interested in then running this we have the exact same information but as you can see it's kind of pretty easy to understand using SQL than the native pandas um, query and moving on to data aggregation the data aggregation is everything similar to average mean maximum 
and so on. And imagine that we want to get the average age um, gender-wise based on gender for like, and what we do here is to select the average function applied to the age column. And we are also interested in gender from student DF group by gender. And here is the final results. We can see that female um, have average age of 29, I mean 19.5 and for male it's 22.66. Pretty straightforward, right? And this is pretty cool. And then another one you we might want to perform is to get the number get the number of occurrence of each department as let me show you that here real quick. We have the department column and we have different departments. We have business, statistics, computer science, engineering, and here business again. So the goal here is to have in the final request to identify how many, how often we have business, how often we have statistics, computer science, engineering. And as you can see here, we have business twice and all the other departments appears only once. And running, so first of all, to let's move back to the queries to understand what is going on here. So we select department counts everything as department counts, meaning that the final result that we're going to have, the ones and twos, is going to be in a new column created uh, called department counts. And we get those information from teaching assistant DF, group by department and order by department counts in descending order run the query and we have business as expected business is illustrated twice and all the other departments um, are shown only once statistic engineering computer science uh, once and the final step moving to the joints and we have different types of joints um, right left inner and those type of joints but here we're going to cover only one type of joint which is the inner joint and in this query let's say that we want to select students who are also teaching assistants um, along with their department so this can be performed using um, this query um, select st st student st gender ST email, ST age. The ST here is an instance of the student's data frame. Um, yeah, it's, it's uh, an instance of the student's data frame. So instead of typing student data frame all the time, create a new alias called ST. And where does this ST come from? Here is where it comes from. So from student DF, and we specify st and we use the inner join statement to join this table with the teaching assistant data frame and an alias for this um, teaching assistant data frame is called tat and this tat here we get the department department comes from the teaching assistantship data frame and on like we perform the joining on the email column where like we'll be having observations where like the email in the student data frame is equal to the email in teaching assistantship data frame and as usual once we have the query just give it to the SQL DF function to process the query and here is the final result yeah, we have the final results and those students who are also teaching assistant, we have three of them, Ibrahim, Mamadou and Nabinto. Yes, that's all for this tutorial. As you can see, this is very handy for those who already have experience in SQL and want to kind of extend that knowledge and apply the same process to Pandas data frame. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and as usual, 
leave in the comment section if there are some other topics that you want me to cover in my next videos and also the full link uh, medium link um, to this video is available in the description if you prefer to read articles rather than videos feel free and take care bye bye